G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean, and on today's episode, we're gonna try and repair our cutting deck from our ride-on mower. So this is our cutting deck off our ride-on mower. It's a John Deere Sabre mower. Had it for quite a few years. Now this deck, seen better days, got this hole starting to form in it here. And so that's what we need to do today is patch up these holes. Now, previous owner has already patched up a hole down further and the best way to do it, which is what they did, get some metal, put it over the top here and weld it on. What I'm gonna do is something different. Uh, quite a number of years ago now, there were sort of stories going around that people were patching up trailers, that sort of things, with a product called Sikaflex that would just bond metals together and you didn't need to weld them. Well, nowadays, that's what car manufacturers use. And between that and rivets, that sort of thing, uh, that's a, a very common use of it. So I'm gonna try using that on here rather than welding this on. For one thing, I don't have a welder, so I'd have to take this to a friend's place uh, that has a welder. But what we'll do first is we'll clean all this up. I'm just gonna use my battery drill with a wire wheel on it first, see how that goes. And if that doesn't work, well, we'll pull out the grinder and we'll clean it up that way. So let's get to work. So you saw us use the wire brush. We treat it with rust converter. We've put a primer on it. And basically now we're getting ready to put a patch on it. So I picked up some metal. Uh, this is actually galvanized because I knew I wasn't going to weld it. This will be fine for that. And we have bent and I had to put a relief cut in so I could get the bend this way as well as this way. Otherwise the metal wasn't going to bend. But we've got that now fitting pretty snug in there. We're basically ready now to cover all of this with the Sikaflex. So this is the product we've got, number 227. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just coat absolutely everything in it and then attach this on. Now, because everything here is rounded, there's no easy way to put any clamps on it to hold it there. So what I'm gonna do is get a couple of straps that I can run around the whole thing and that will at least then continue to put force on it and it'll put force everywhere just to hold it there while this dries. Now there's no real instructions or directions on how to use this uh, or drying time or anything. So we're just gonna wipe everything down beforehand, make sure it's all clean and yeah, just put it on. Uh, I also found there was another hole over the other side of this as well that I'm gonna patch up. So we've cleaned that up as well and we'll, we'll get the straps to hold that bit down at the same time. And yeah, then we'll give it a few hours and, and let it cure. So there we go, that's where it's gonna sit at the moment until it dries. You can see we've got it strapped up. Basically what happened was, apart from the camera falling down, I sat it down there and then tried to sort of set it up 
and put the strap on and everything at the same time and then it moved a little bit and the more you sort of move it and shuffle it around and get it to sit right the worse it becomes and then when you try and wipe out the sides and clean it as well uh, it just turns into stuff everywhere it is not nice stuff well actually works really well it's just once you get it on your fingers or on your gloves or that sort of thing wow yeah it sticks like crazy so I think this is going to work really well now we'll just leave it for it till tomorrow and we'll come back and see how it looks well it's nice and dry now so we'll remove the strap and check this out see how it's come up so it's glued it down nice and tight it's definitely well and truly stuck there so I think now all we can do is I'm going to give this a clean just put some paint on it uh, I'll put some undercoat on first and then put some green paint on just to sort of blend it in it's not perfect by any stretch of any imagination the rest of it anyway uh, and then we'll trial it out I'll, I'll put everything back on the deck uh, and then we'll use it and we'll see how it's looking in a, a month or two's time Well, it's been about four months now since we repaired the mower deck and up until just recently I'd been using the mower every week. It started cooling down now so the grass is not growing as quickly so not using it as much but I thought now is probably a good time then to have a look and see how these patches are holding up. The patch I put on is just here and it is holding up perfectly. It's not lifting up on the sides anywhere it's basically just glued itself down there so I'm very very impressed with it uh, let me see if I can find the other patch the other one it's a bit harder to see but it's exactly the same at the back here it's just glued itself on and not moving at all so yeah it's it's a way of repairing it I do agree it's not, not the best weld it if you can if you've got a welder it's going to be the best way but that works really well so there we go that's one way of patching up a mower deck might not be the best way welding certainly going to be the better way but this will get you out of trouble we'll keep a bit of an eye on it but i'm confident now that that's going to last quite a long time so there we go well, that's all we have for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this sort of content, please hit that subscribe button. That would be great. And we'll catch you on the next one. God bless.